check it out. Check it out. Now, people, L.A. Reid's out the door. L.A. Reid has announced that he is leaving Epic Records. If you don't know who L.A. Reid is, L.A. Reid is the guy who worked at Epic, the same guy who who was overseeing Epic when Bobby Schmur and all that type of stuff. L.A. Reid has a long history in the industry. I, I'm only telling you about recent stuff. Now, while he was at Epic Records, he signed uh, Future. He got Rick Ross over there. He got Travis Scott. He even motherfucking got 21 Savage, okay? Now, he's leaving the company. He's leaving Epic Records, and I have a guess where I think he might be going because niggas just don't retire in the music industry. You got to really push him out the door. So usually if niggas are leaving, they're going somewhere else or they have a bigger plan in mind, okay? Now, here's how it sucks for a lot of artists, okay? Imagine you're a free agent in the NBA. You sign to a motherfucking team because you like the coach or you like the general manager. Or you like something about the team. And as soon as you get there, you're there for a year and the, that person's out, okay? Your coach is out, okay? Now, a lot of the people that are signed to Epic Records, L.A. Reid believed in them. They believed in L.A. Reid. Now, with L.A. Reid departing, what happens? Who's going to come in and who's going to take their, his place? And will they have the same belief in those artists? Because that's where it's going to get tricky, Right. Because if if the new person doesn't really give a fuck about whoever is on the label, they might not push them as hard. By the way, 21 Savage said the only reason he signed to Epic Records was because L.A. Reid was the first black face he saw as an executive while he was having meetings. That black face is out of the building now. What's going to happen? Is it, listen, maybe you get a white face now, okay? And again, this is nothing against white people. Listen, this is what 21 Savage said. He said he signed to motherfucking Epic Records because it was a black person. So now, what happens now? Okay, will the next person that comes in really believe in, in 21 Savage? We don't know. Now, let's think about where he might go. Because if you guys don't know... The music executives, they're leaving labels. Labels are washed up, okay? Labels are antiquated and all washed up. If Lear Cohen, who basically made his own label, 300 Entertainment, and he was there for a while, and he even left that junk to go to YouTube Music... Right now, he's running this global head of music at YouTube. We also saw Jimmy Iovine, who was running Interscope. He left Interscope, and he basically went to handle Apple and Beats and that transition. So he's running, like, Apple Music over there. Basically, we see all of these executives, they are leaving the label position. And I believe, or I would assume, that L.A. Reid is doing the same. Okay? Maybe he's going to title. Maybe he's going to Apple Music. Maybe he's going to Spotify. But I think the new positions that are opening up now ain't with labels, man. Labels washed up, okay? I think he's going to somewhere else, and I think he's going to a streaming company, okay? Who knows? Maybe I'll be right. Maybe I'll be wrong. Who knows? But he's definitely ain't with Epic no more, which means all those artists, hopefully the other people on the label or the other executives believe in y'all, or else y'all are fucked. Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe to Academics. Oh!